Hello, welcome to Antworks Hazardous Area Classification application. The application is very useful for conducting release analysis and will save a lot of time when evaluating hazardous areas. You can access the AXHack application from the AXHack course player. This is the link you use to access the AXHack course player. Create an account or login if you haven't already. Once you have accessed the app, it should look something like this. There are multiple tabs on the left-hand side where you can find the application that best suits your project. We will go through each of these options in the next lesson. Welcome to the EXHack application! Under the Profile tab, you can edit your profile and change your password. The next tab is the Project tab. Here you can create new projects and access saved ones. To create a project, you need to enter a project number and name. You also need environmental information such as the altitude, the minimum and maximum ambient temperatures, and the location of the project. You can include a description of the project if you wish. Let's create a new project. It should appear on the project list tab along with all your saved projects and their information. You can click on any project if you need to make any changes. The next section in the EXHack application is the FMA tab. FMA stands for Flammable Mixture Analysis and it is here where we input all the process compounds and materials. The first tab is the Compounds tab. Many common process chemicals have already been inputted under the generic compound section, as seen here. So compounds such as methanol, carbon dioxide, and hydrogen sulfide are already present in the system and do not need to be created again. If a compound in your process is not found in the generic compound section, when you do a quick search, then you will have to create a custom compound. Click on the Custom Compound button located on the top right. The application will ask you a series of questions related to the physical properties of the compound, such as the molar mass, flash point, and so on. Most if not all these properties can be found on the Material Safety Data Sheet of the Compound section. Let's create ammonia as our new custom compound. We will enter all the required parameters. Click Submit once you are done. The custom compound you just created will appear under the Custom Compound section. Moving forward, we come to the FM tab. Here, we enter in any flammable mixtures that may be found in the process. We have already included some common flammable mixtures such as crude oil, gasoline, and natural gas in the generic flammable mixture section. If your flammable mixture is not found in the generic section, then you will have to create a custom flammable mixture. Click on the Add New Flammable Mixtures button located on the top right. The application will ask you the mole percent of each compound the mixture consists of. You can include generic compounds as well as custom compounds that you have created. Let's create a new oil condensate mixture on EXHack. Click Save once you are done.
You just see your new flammable mixture appear in the custom flammable mixture section. Next on the list is the FM analysis tab. This is where you will be able to analyze the flammable mixtures. Some common mixture analysis have already been analyzed, such as natural gas and gasoline. You can click on the view button to access the properties of each flammable mixture. Let's create a new FM analysis for the oil condensate mixture we created earlier. Click on Add New FMA, select the oil condensate mixture, and click on Start Analysis. Then, save your analysis. The next section is the Source of Release Info section. If you click on the Create SOR button, it will take you to a page like this. Here you can name your SOR and input the properties such as the type of release, stream temperature and pressure, the grade of release, and ambient temperature. If you are unsure about the grade of release for your application, click on the parameter and it will provide you with some guidance. EXHack has incorporated similar clip arts associated with the various parameters to help you with the configuration process if you just need to click on the parameter. Let's create a new SOR. Let's name it Chapter 4 SOR. We choose a gas or vapor release, stream temperature of 20, pressure of 600. Let's choose a secondary grade of release, an ambient temperature of 20, and once you are done, click Submit. The SOR we just created will appear on the SOR list. Here you can also find all of the SOR sheets that have been created. Click on any SOR number to edit the details or delete it if you want to. The next section is Enclosure. When you click on Create Enclosure, it will take you to a page like this. Here you can name your enclosure and input the required properties such as the width, height, and upwind length. The volume of the enclosure will be calculated automatically. You will also select if the enclosure is naturally ventilated or not. Natural ventilation occurs when wind from the surrounding environment is able to aerate the enclosure interior. The availability of ventilation is divided into three levels, good, fair, and poor. At the end, you can add a description of the enclosure if you wish. Let's create one enclosure. Let's assume it's naturally ventilated with an exterior ambient temperature of 28 and interior ambient temperature of 31 degrees with a fair availability of ventilation and click submit. The enclosure we just created will appear on the enclosure list. Here you can also find all the enclosures that have been created. Click on any of these enclosures to edit them or delete if necessary. The next section is the Hazardous Area Classification section. Under Hack Analysis List tab, you can see a list of saved hazardous area classification analysis. Click on Edit to change any properties and start a new analysis. If you want to add a new hack, click on the button on the top right. Here you can put in a hack number and put in the appropriate site, FMA, source of release, and enclosure numbers. The rest of the field will populate automatically based on what you chose. Click on Start Analysis. Afterwards, the application will calculate some important parameters for you, such as the mass release rate and release characteristic. You can also override some parameters such as the pool surface area and wind speed over pool surface if the default values are different for your application. 
For example, EXHAC has a default value of 2 meters squared for pool surface area and 0.05 meter per second for wind speed at pool surface, but if your project has a different value, you can input it here. Click on Start Analysis again to get the new data, and then save your analysis. The results will be displayed on the Source of Release and Ventilation Analysis tab. The Source of Release tab will indicate the mass and volume release rates and the release characteristic. The Ventilation Analysis tab will indicate the zone classification and extent as well as other key parameters such as ventilation rates and velocities. If you are satisfied with the results and wish to create a report, Go to the Hack Analysis list, go to the end of your Hack Analysis row, and click on Create Report. You will also be able to save the report and export it to an Excel or PDF format output. The generated report will look like this. The Information section displays the input, the Detail section displays the simulation results. Figure C1 is created for a graphical representation of the degree of dilution, and Figure D1 displays the classification extent. Hack Data Sheets Part 1 and 2 are created based on IAC templates to display the characteristics of the flammable substance and the sources of release. Table D1 from the IAC standard is also displayed so that you can verify the zone calculated within the application. Be aware there may be other mitigating factors that may also impact the zone classification and extent. We have created some application examples in our training course where you can practice using the EXHack application. Before you do so, we highly recommend that you complete the training course so that you know how to use the EXHack application in the most effective way.